But anyway, yeah, uh, I wasn't playing Red Faction anymore. I got bored. I even ended the walkthrough on BBC 13 Gaming. It's probably not even up there. As soon as this goes up, it's probably going to be deleted already. But yeah, it just got boring and tedious. You were here, Joe. You saw. I think the game was uh, also hyped up like a few other games that were <coughs> Brink, uh, Cough Cough. Oh, don't say Sorry. that. Chaos is here. Oh, He'll kill you. Whoa, whoa. Is oh, that, oh. See, I told you there was someone else. You know, Sorry, like, Chaos. Don't kill coughing me. Coughing like that. Like, jeez. Yeah. No, but, uh, yeah. ha -ha. Chaos likes Brink. I know, that's why I said sorry, Chaos. No, but it was really hyped up to what, and it didn't meet up to the expectations. I think that's the problem with Brink, too. As, this I'll defend Brink in that, in that thing. People hype Brink up to be, like, huge game of the year, and pe that's why it was big, a bigger letdown, too. Because yeah. they hyped it up so much. Yeah. Yeah, to be honest, like, um, I don't know, it was... It was something completely different, and like, uh, you know, like it wasn't. It wasn't like Call of Duty. It wasn't like Halo. It was its own thing, and like it's like this is something really original here, and like uh, had great expectations, and like uh, yeah, it they felt, like it felt, felt short. Glad on their uh, yeah rear area, like uh, and uh, yeah, like uh, I mean I like it still. But, like, uh, you know, it was, like, the most excited I ever got for, like, an Xbox game ever. So, I'm, so after that happened, I was, like, I'm never getting that excited for another Xbox game ever. Like, uh, it was, like... Yeah, I agree. Uh, I mean. Like, uh... I was good just at... Doesn't I actually... Seem, you know, sorry. Sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I was done. Like, uh, Oh yeah, Chris. What were you asking? Speaking of that, me and Cass before you were mentioning about, about, about us being around the same age, about gaming. Something. No, what kind of game about. genres we fall towards? We don't really play Mario as much anymore, unless Truth like me, the platform gaming is. I hate to say this. Actually, I was talking about this with Chaos one night. Remember, Cass? We said platform gaming is kind of dead. Well, you know, I think uh, like newer ones are dead. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, like the newer games that are coming out now. Because they're like try-harding. They're try-harding to get back to the way things were back in the 80s, and it's just not working. That Donkey Kong game I heard was really bad. I heard it was really hard, and that yeah. alone made me want to get it. But I don't know if I'll get it soon. Like, the problem with that was a lot of kids who played it, like, rage quit on it. They just, like, played it for, like, a week or two probably, and they just said it was so hard, they just gave up on it. You don't make a Donkey Kong game that hard, like I heard. It yeah, was like, but like, I mean, come on. We don't want to grow up of a generation of wusses who quit on games early. Like, gotta, true, true, gotta stick point. with the game, God damn it. And like, uh, be like, look at how ridiculous uh, Ghosts and Goblins Well, was. I'm just saying, as far as oh, game that goes, was hard. looking away from platforms, I'm warning yeah. everybody, do not have high expectations for this gear game. Because I'm telling you, Gears has been awesome. I'm not going to lie. I loved 1. 2 was a good sequel. And 2 ended with the promise that there was going to be a final chapter. Or Don't or is anybody there? get upset at how it ends. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of people are making this... It could be it amazing. Ends? But I'm warning people, you know... It's going to be the same formula with different, um, different enemies. So, if anybody's looking for something revolutionary, I, I would just, I'm just warning you. But the guy who plays Marcus and Gears... Because I know a lot of what? Marcus and Gears? Was yeah, Bender. Was Bender from yeah. Futurama. The That's what got me into Gears oh, 1. Yeah. That's what got me to buy Gears 1, just to hear his different voice. And then I was like, ooh, the game's good. So, I'm getting Gears 3 regardless, because I want to, I'm a completionist. I want to finish the story. But I'm not going to run to, like, sacrifice every other game I'm getting just for it. I know a lot Straight of people... Are, price go down. Like, Smash is a perfect example. He's like, I don't want anything to ruin my chances of getting Gears 3. I know a... I just <laughs> like it, okay? No, I, I'm only using you as an example. I know 20 other people that are like, oh, listen, Gears is coming out. I don't give a fuck what's coming out. I am definitely getting Gears. So I many... just like it. I'm not talking about you anymore. Now I'm talking about other people I've talked to. Yeah, They're, but you are including me with those 20 people. Yes, you like it. That's my point, though. You you just said I'm not going to sacrifice Gears 3 for Dead Island. Well, cause Same I, here. Because I already have, like, 479 other zombie games. Like, I mean, I mean, uh, Dead. I you do know. not. You only have Left for Dead 1 and 2, and you have now Dead Rising 1 and 2. Yeah, but there's also, like, uh... Uh, what was that? Resident Evil 5. 
Okay. That doesn't <laughs> count. Those aren't zombies. That doesn't I count. Just they're zombies in a the way. Yes, they are. And then they're Call of Duty zombies mode. Doesn't count. That, that's that does. Game. No, it doesn't. That does. Okay, you can say that, but it doesn't. Simpsons did it. Uh, no, it was Dinkleberg that did it. Dinkleberg. <laughs> and you, Dinkleberg. Get back here, Dinkleberg. No, shut up, I didn't finish my quote. You, Dinkleberg. Dinkleberg. Smash, I'm going to go out here and make a bold prediction and say I bet by the time Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 come out, people are going to be like, Gears 3, huh? What, Gear, Gears what now? Anymore. Gears 3 what? What? Who? No, I, I know for a fact they're going to do that. In fact, to be perfectly honest, I'll probably do that for a couple of weeks. But then, as with every other Call of Duty game, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to complain about the multiplayer a couple of weeks in. Because it's the same thing. Every Call of Duty. Every single Call of yeah, Duty. Yeah, they find it's like, hacks. It, it's, like Mod, it's like Modern Warfare 2 came out. I'm like, wow, this multiplayer is great. Holy crap, it's amazing. A couple of weeks in. Fuck you, bitch! Arr! Yeah, and yeah, yeah hacks. Still play it. That's what and that's, that's when, it, yes. and by the, but then, shut the fuck up, but then, <laughs> but then the Black Ops shows came out, I'm like, ooh, Black Ops looks cool, you have RCXD car, ooh, that's, that's, the they can start on their mobile <laughs> control car, that's so, that's so cool, and then, you know, the game comes out, oh, this is so great, oh my god, this is so fun, two weeks in, fuck you, yeah! yeah. and by the time that happens oh, on Modern Warfare 3, Halo Combat Evolved will be out, and I'm going back to my one love, Halo. Yeah, I'll be on Halo. Wee. Not on the Wii, on the 360. No, like, last week she goes, Wee Crash. I'm quick waiting question. for Half-Life Chapter 3. And Smash another up. Portal game. What about Portal? I have a quick, quick yes. question. I don't know. Everybody always complains about Modern Warfare 3 and 2, how it's broken in so many ways, but yet you guys still play it so much. Why? So well, that's I, something about it. Here's, here's Smash the, loves the abuse. Uh, can I? Hi, shut up. Wait a minute. Wait, hey, hey, shut, hey, Joe. Joe, what did you say? Shh. Okay, good. Anyway, <laughs> the reason that I keep getting the Call of Duty games is because... PORN! Really? That's Smash talk. Come on. I'll wait. I'm done. We're ready. Okay. The, I get the games mainly because, um, I get the Modern Warfare ones because, um, uh, I, I do like the campaigns, they're, they're really good. Uh, I, I, uh, I skipped World at War, but then I got Black Ops mainly Everybody for, skipped World at War. No, not everyone. Not really? everyone. Oh, but, okay. um, yeah, I got Black Ops, again, for the campaign, because the Call of Duty campaigns are pretty good. And I also got it for the zombies. Um, but, so... This time, this time, I'm not going to be fooled. I'm not going to be fooled. They can, they can give me every single trailer with every single gameplay mechanic. I, I, I was, I was fooled two times already. They can show me as many Modern Warfare 3 trailers as they want. I'm going to know that, like, couple weeks, months in, everyone, all the hackers are going to come in and shit. I, I mean, they, they, they say that they're patching it up. Is like going to be no it's way. It's inevitable. But, 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 even if there's no hackers, you're going to run. You're just going to be assholes. I mean, you can argue that there's assholes in every single online game, but it's like Call of Duty is the asshole kingdom. Because adults play that more than Halo. No, no not sure Halo Oh, no. Bad, so. so no, and then, a, and lot then of, a lot of people, like, a lot of adults drift towards Call of Duty. Smash is right. And then, <laughs> and then, and then there's also, uh, also on Call of Duty, there's like six-year-olds that say more curse words that I... That I I don't even know if it's a real curse word. He said it. I didn't even know it existed. If it's even real, I'm like, what? The? I'm like, <clears throat> so I don't know. Did he but call you a queef burger? So no. Okay. So anyway, so I already know that a couple months in, uh, the multiplayer is going to suck balls. But again, I'm getting it for the campaign and, uh, and and the new co-op survival mode actually does look pretty good. because yes. so I'm gonna. That's another reason as well. But yeah. So, I forgot the, the whole... Uh, but I wouldn't say that about Halo Reach because, as you guys know, I kind of like OD on that game sometimes. I've actually seen people fight so much on that game, I'm not going to get into stories, but I'll just say the worst thing I think I've seen is people actually were serious about meeting up that were, of course, to get into a fight. That's how bad it escalated. I left because I had a headache from it. You know what? In every game, you find the hackers, you find the no-lifers, you find the modders, and you know what? It ruins the game. 
If you're gonna use cheats or mods on a game, go fuck yourself. Make your own room with your own kind of people and play yourselves. Let the legitimate players like me, Mike, like everybody in this room, leave us alone. Let us play with other legit players. I mean, seriously, do you get off at the fact that you actually are hacking a game to the point where you can beat anybody? Because you're such a people. People are probably gonna think you're a no life anyway. You know, it's ridiculous. Yeah, you know, one game, Chris, that I don't even play anymore because there's too many hackers on there. Way too many that Nintendo never fix. Mike should know it too. What? And I give. I don't give up on it, but it's just like. Which okay. one, Joe? Mario, you know a game. Oh, Mario, Mario Kart. Kart. Yeah. Oh God, don't get me started on Mario Kart.